Info River has released a powerful new feature to help you configure the design of the matrix to allow for wide table business scenarios. The native matrix table in Power BI has a maximum 100 column limit, whereas the earlier versions of Info River supported only up to 60 columns. But now, with version 1.9 or later of Info River, you can configure and fetch up to 1000 columns, coupled with Info River's ability to expand and collapse on column hierarchies and the ability to go beyond 100 columns, customers will now be able to migrate their wide Excel pivot tables into Power BI. For any visual in Power BI, a single fetch from the Veritapec engine returns up to a maximum of 30,000 cells to the visual. For a matrix type visual, it's the multiplication of the number of rows times the number of columns, and this is including column subtotals and grand totals. In the past, InfraRiver had a hard-coded limit of 500 rows by 60 columns for every fetch, which limited our ability to support beyond 60 columns. With the recent Fetch More API algorithm enhancement released by Microsoft, InfoRiver version 1.9 and onwards will let you manually adjust the column count, and the engine will automatically adjust the number of rows for each fetch up to the 30,000 cell limit. So, if you have less than 15 columns added to the visual, the column count is set to 15 by default. This means that InfoRiver can now fetch four times the initial rows, versus the original default column count of 60. You can also manually adjust this column count to the exact number of columns you'll need, including subtotals, in the visual. This will automatically enhance performance for existing InfraRiver reports. When there are between 15 and 60 columns in the report, the default column count is set to 60. You can also manually adjust the column count while taking into account the column totals and subtotals to optimize for performance as well. And when you have more than 60 columns, you can adjust the column count to the number of columns added to the visual and remember to account for your column grand total and subtotals. One important word of caution is that more columns will mean less rows per query fetch. This could cause poor performance when you have both wide and long tables with lots of rows simultaneously, which would contribute to a high number of data fetches. Lastly, one clever way to further enhance both load performance and reduce the number of recognized columns in a visual is by leveraging the field parameters feature. You can add multiple metrics to the InfoRiver visual with a single field parameter field. These metrics will be recognized as one column by InfoRiver, which will ensure that more rows can be fetched per poll and improves performance.